Ideogram 3.0 has just been released, and I have been playing around with it, creating colouring pages and t-shirt designs as well. Now, if we take a look at these, these turned out absolutely amazing. Now, these were just created with some of my old prompts as well, but they've actually done a pretty good job, as you can see. Now, I also like these ones at the bottom, especially these bottles as well. Now, if we keep scrolling, I've actually done a lot of pixelated t-shirt designs as well, as we can see just here. This is with 3.0 as well, and these look absolutely awesome. Now, I am thinking of turning this into a different video in a few days as well, because if we scroll down to here, this is the ones which I want to share in today's video. Now, if we scroll a bit more, we can see that I have also been playing with colouring page mandalas as well, and I've also been playing around creating these weed style t-shirt designs as well. But nonetheless, these are the designs which I want to share with you in this video. Now, first off, I just quickly want to cover what's actually new with Ideogram 3.0. So, there's actually stunning realism, which creates highly detailed scenes with precise lighting and colour control plus significantly improved hand rendering. There's premium designs, and that creates stylized and accurate text for graphic design, which is great for t-shirt designs, but also advertising, marketing, and more. So Ideogram 3.0 handles complex, long-form text with greater precision and accuracy. So again, this is going to be great for t-shirt designs and quote coloring pages. Now there's also stylistic control where you can upload up to three images and use them as a style reference to guide your generation without needing extra prompts. So this is something which I haven't played around with yet, but I will be over the next few days. Now 3.0, also has a new describe which now the new describe now provides much more detailed scene description or descriptions allowing for greater creative control now with magic fill and extend ideogram 3.0 is integrated into canvas for magic fill extend and replace background, enabling advanced AI native image edits if you're new to Canvas. Now, this is something that I haven't played around with as well, but I will be over the next few days. And there's also a new prompt box. So they've introduced a new prompt box, unified across the website and Canvas, designed for a more seamless and intuitive creative experience. Now it says here as well, like every new generation of text to image models, Ideogram 3.0 has a different prompting language that requires some learning. Now, because I have my own custom made GPTs, I haven't found this too much of an issue. And I've actually found that all the prompts that I actually create still work extremely well with the new version of 3.0. But it does say you may notice that certain prompts behave differently than before. We encourage you to experiment, explore and discover new ways to bring your creative vision to life. So that's what's new with Ideogram 3.0. Now again, I have these designs just here. What I'll do by the time this video is live, is put them all on my public profile just here. I'll also link my public profile down in the description so you can come through and play with all of those designs and the prompts. But here on my public profile, I already have lots of different designs for lots of different things regarding t-shirt designs, kids' storybook covers, and clip art and also colouring pages as well. Again, I'm going to link my public profile down in the description, and by the time you're watching this, I'll put, where are they? These designs just here, all on my public profile. Then you can come through, play around with these as well. Now, all of these designs just here, I actually used 
prompts in my little freebie. So what I'll do is link this down in the description as well. Come through, check this out. This is a 100 ideogram quote graphic t-shirt prompts, and there's lots of different niches just here. Now, this is completely free for you, but you can come through, sign up. You're going to get this just here, which is a Google Doc with all of the prompts in, as you can see, and then this way you're going to have lots of different prompts which you can use to play around with 3.0. Now let's scroll down to here, because there's lots of good prompts in here, but I went through, I used some of these in here, and then I used them in 3.0 just to see how much better they look, and I honestly believe that they are quite a bit better. Now, a couple of the prompts which I used didn't turn out that great, but the majority did. Now, I really like this one as well. The quality of these now does seem a lot better as well, but this is kind of a pixelated design, and this is low resolution, high confidence, and I just think this looks amazing. It's the same with all of these. There's just something about 3.0 that just gives it that little extra push on the designs to make them look a little bit better. Now, out of these, I really liked this one as well. My dog thinks I'm cool. That's all that matters. Then there's a few others as well. I really like the cleanliness of this design as well. My weekend is all booked. And then there's a little stack of books with the cup. This looks absolutely flawless. And they all just look really, really good. Now, Let's actually go ahead and take one of the prompts so you can see 3.0 in action. Let's scroll all the way down to these school ones. All we have to do with these prompts is copy them like that. There is also a video that goes along with this little freebie as well, which will show you how to edit, modify, and make even more prompts from these original prompts just here. So if you do decide to grab my freebie, I highly recommend watching the video first. Now let's come over to here because we need to take a look at the describe box, this box just here, because now this looks completely different. Now we have private, and if we click on there, we can now switch to public. I always do most of my stuff on private. We can change the aspect just here. And there's quite a few that we can also choose from. It looks like they may have even added a few extras, but there's landscape and portrait. You can even do a custom one just here as well. And then right here, this is where we change the models. So now if we click on here, yours will probably say 2 or 2A, depending on which one you were using before. But if we look here, we now have 3.0. Now, Turbo actually uses two credits. I'm not too sure about default. Oh, it says just here. If this uses four credits, and Quality actually uses six. Now, with everything, I always just use Turbo, because that tends to be the cheapest. But with 3.0, the generations are going to cost a little bit more, rather than, let's say, 2A, which is their cheapest model, which only uses half a credit. But let's put that on 3.0, and we're going to use Turbo. Now, MP stands for Magic Prompt. We can either have that on, off, or auto. I'm going to keep that on. Style is where all of these different styles now are as well. And with this, I always just use auto, because ideogram always knows what I'm trying to do. And then the color palette thingamajiggy is just here. This is something that I never use myself. And then the three dots is where you can add your seed number, negative prompts, and choose between the grid, off or on. And then we still have the generate button just here. And we can also upload our images to describe them and all of that cool stuff. Now, what we're going to do is plug that in there. We've got 3.0. I'm going to do private on this. We're going to keep that the same, and then we'll click generate. And then we'll take a look to see what this looks like. Now, let's take another one of these as well. Let's go with maybe this one as well. Maybe we'll just do these three. So let's plug that in there. We're going to keep that the same. We'll click generate, and then we'll go ahead and get this one as well just like that. Then let's plug this one in here as well. 
and let's click generate on this. So as you can see already, they do look better. If we come back over to the original, this is the top one. This is the prompt which we just used. This looks good, but I do think that this one looks slightly better. Now let's have a little look through the generations. There's a little mistake just there. I have found that you do still get mistakes, but that's not too much of an issue. This one looks amazing. I really, really like this one. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one as well. Too cool for school, but here anyway. I like this. There's two mouths on that, so that doesn't quite look good. So let's take a look at the others. This one looks amazing. I really, really like that. This one looks pretty cool. That one looks good as well. I really like that as well. But as you can see, the quality has definitely been improved. And again, the more words you have in the design, Ideogram 3.0 can actually handle that. So let's go on to the last one as well. Let's take a look at this. Coffee, crayons, and chaos. Teacher life. This looks pretty good. Let's take a look at this one. This one looks a little bit better, but there is a little bit of a mistake just there. And let's take a look at the other ones. This looks pretty good. That looks slightly off, but if we were to use these, we could easily edit that out. And this one looks pretty good as well. This is probably the best out of these four generations. But as you can see, let's scroll down again to round about here. In fact, let me just delete these three because it's messing up everything else. But these do look pretty good nonetheless. Let's just quickly delete that so it keeps everything in line just like that. But as we can see, 3.0 is doing a pretty good job. Now I'm going to be using this for colouring pages. I'm going to be using this for t-shirt designs, stickers as well. And then the next thing I want to play around with, that's for some reason the other three have been gone. That's weird. Let me just refresh the page on that. And there we go. Let's just come back down to here. There we go. There was just a little bit of a glitch. But I am also going to be using it for kids storybook covers as well, which I want to play around with over the next few days. But if we take a look at these, this looks really good. Stoned Cold Fox. I think this design looks absolutely awesome. But as I was saying, 3.0 is definitely an improvement. What I suggest doing is coming through, turning 3.0 on, come and grab my also freebie, which is down in the description. And then you have a bunch of prompts, which you can play around with, with 3.0 to see what you think. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like, as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, Click right here and watch this playlist.